I think it's easy for anyone to just read a book. Uh, we read books in the classroom all the time. <clears throat> the question is always why and being critical about the text. So why are, we, why are we learning this? And having students ask questions about the text. What does this mean for us? How does this relate to our world? Um, questions about reconciliation. How do I teach residential schools and a very painful past to students, especially of a young age? And uh, there's ways that we can do it that are in a gentle way. Um, there's ways you can discuss residential schools without traumatizing students. And that's just exposing them to literature. There's, there's books that are written for kids as low as kindergarten that you can be exposing. And it's not about just reading that book once. It might be a series of times you read it throughout the year. And teaching residential schools across the grades, what I have done is I put together a list of books that deal at every grade level the topic of residential schools because it's such a huge topic and often teachers may be a little bit scared or reluctant about how do I take on something so big I don't ever want to say something that may be inappropriate or something that uh, I could be wrong about. Please have a look at the list I put together. It's fantastic. And if you have any other questions, I'm going to be updating this list all the time. And it's available for free for you and for sharing. There's so many great resources out there.